Yo guys, before this video start, I need all y'all to go subscribe to one of my favorite YouTubers, Olivia Paul. She's my day one, and look, she's upcoming. She already posted five videos in a span of a week. She posts crazy videos. Her editing is insane, and y'all can check her out. DM me on Instagram when I'm done, and let's get in the video. Yo guys, Bo here, back again with another video. If you're on this video, you probably know what's been happening already, but if you don't know what's been happening, well, right now, I'm gonna tell you what's been happening. That's why I'm making this video. Anyway, about a week ago, I was in class trying to get my grades up, and I checked my phone for a second. Never in my life have my phone been this wet, yo. I checked my phone for a second, boom. 10,000 notifications, yo. Like my friends that never texted me before, finally texted me for once and was like, Yo, Bo, a YouTuber put you on a video. I got crazy messages like, yo, this YouTuber named Benji put you on a video. Okay, even though I'm a YouTuber, I don't be on YouTube a lot, all right? I'm busy with other stuff in my life. So I had no idea what this Benji guy was. But I guess I was getting a little cut off him, yo. My DM was wet, my text messages were wet. Even in school, people were like, yo, Bo, do you see what Benji just posted? I was like, what the hell is Benji, yo? I'm not trying to be mean or anything, I just don't watch him, okay? I had no idea who this was. Finally, I went on YouTube and I kicked Benji. One million subscribers. I had no idea that this dude Benji put me on his YouTube video. I had no idea what this was. So I clicked on his profile and I saw a video of me saying like, I think he said, e-dater meets his online girlfriend for the first time. I haven't seen this video yet, but you know, it's getting a lot of views. I'm not, not saying I'm giving him a cut out. Maybe like a little bit. But I mean, he also gave me a cut out, so. Agree. Yeah, I haven't seen the video yet. Uh, let's watch this shit. People say it was pretty funny. So this video was, of course, my most popular video when I met my longest. I don't want to explain this shit, but uh, yeah, let's watch this. Like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, shout out to all the Benji fans. Y'all are cool as hell. Y'all subscribe to me. Amazing. Y'all, y'all are goats, man. Um, let's watch this video, man. Let's let's get this shit started. E dating, another term for online dating. Everybody got it? You have it written down? Yeah. All right, all right good. Sick. What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Benji. Back in, the good of the in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at two e daters that actually finally meet up. Two years already online. Two years is a long time of dating somebody without even meeting them. All right, most of these Discord relationships last for like two months. I mean, obviously, I don't know if they actually met each other on Discord or not, but I mean, that's just kind of what I associate e dating with. No, I didn't meet her on Discord, which is the funny. Thing. Yeah, I met on Instagram, whole different fucking platform. But in my eyes and definition, e-dating and long distance relationships are two completely different things. Like when I think of a long distance relationship, I'm more like, yeah, okay, whatever, they're really far apart, but at the end of the day, like they're they're going to meet up. Whereas if a relationship falls under the category of e-dating, it's like, eh. Ah. Yeah, so that was what it really was, right? That was a long distance relationship. That wasn't e-dating, yo. We did meet up at the end of the day, right? Yeah, bro, that's cool and all, but uh, off topic, why are you introducing your video in the library? Well, because I had no goddamn else place to record it. Like, at least go into the bathroom stalls or outside. I mean, I could record in the bathroom if I really wanted to, but my mom already dropped me off in the library, and it's like, y'all know how many homeless people be in the library, right? I mean, at least that library I went to, there's a lot of homeless people. So, like, imagine me recording and entering the bathroom with a homeless person just staring at me like, I've got you in my sights. Yeah, so basically me and this girl, Kate, we've been dating for two years. My mom really loves her. Which, hold up, your mom loves her? Does your mom and girlfriend talk on the daily on FaceTime? Like, what? How does he know? I FaceTime her a lot. Her yeah, personality um, really matched, matched yeah. who I am. Bro, get a load of this guy. This is like every single person ever in a relationship that has no idea what he or she is talking about. Yeah, I was talking to this person and we really just clicked and uh, we related to each other so much. We had so many similar interests. Like, dude, if you're just a little horny, that's okay. You, you can tell us. Bro, it's not even that serious. I mean, fuck, it's like two years of someone talking to each other and then boom, they finally meet up. Like, you won't be nervous? Like, come on, bro. It was a warm summer night of 2017 when Romeo and Juliet met each other over on Discord. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Uh, Juliet, it's 2019, you can you can speak normal. Come, gentle knight, come, loving black brown knight, give me my Romeo, and when I shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars. Juliet, are you okay? She's pretty... She got a good personality. Like, she's like my kind, right, right, you know so what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Right, you know so what I'm saying? Yeah, like, she's just so pretty and like her personality, you know what I'm saying? Right, you know so what I'm saying? We've been dating for two years, but the only thing I can really point out is how pretty she is and how good of a personality she has. I swear to God, she's the love of my life, bro. Man, I bet you if you ask this guy to point out one thing that he really likes about her personality, he's gonna go, uh, I don't know. There's just way too much to love. I can't point out just one thing. I mean, is he just counting me to the point now? I was nervous, all right? The camera was on my face. It was literally, she was literally like five minutes away. Like, yo, I don't fuck to say. You got to a car putting up right now? For real? Yeah, um, I don't know. You got to a car, but. Oh my god, hold counts. up. <laughs> All right, well, let's go. Here she is. I'm hella scared. Jeez. 
Dude, you bro, see her? I'm, you see I'm her? I'm shaking for no reason. Like, uh, uh, go, go hug her. Go hug her. Some shit. I'm scared, dude. She's so pretty. Look at her. She's so pretty, bro. Go give her a hug. You're hiding behind your jacket for no reason. And what was that awkward wave? Go hug her. Go hug her. Some shit. I swear this is me at every family gathering. A uh, high person that I don't know the name of that I haven't seen since I was like three years old. Like, bro, I swear to God, distant family just show up when you're born and then come back 10 years later like they haven't just taken a vacation for 10 years. Like, what? Hi, do you remember me? Bro, I was three. No, I don't remember you. And bro, come on. Your friend is low-key doing you kind of wrong. Go hug her. Go hug her. Nah, bro, you go and hug her if you're so excited about it. It. Oh my god. Go hug. Hi. I can uh, do something. Hi. Gonna hug. Hi. <laughs> my brother Sam is with me. Oh, right, nice to meet you. Dude, that's so crazy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm sorry, but what made you think that was a good idea? In what movie does the guy jump in the girl's arms? Yo, what is this? She didn't even try to catch you. She said, ah, ah, ah. Okay, which Jurassic Park movie is this? Jurassic Park 2! But yeah, okay, anyway, I was... Oh, shit. Why was I thinking about time? Okay, anyway, you know, we had this whole thing going on, okay? I don't want to go deep in detail, but, you know, me and Kate, we were just talking about that stuff for a long time, you know? We like to fuck around with each other, so, you know, that was dirty. I did that on purpose. I didn't do that just to make shit awkward. The video just seems super fucking awkward. Are we just gonna stand here and hug? Is that is that what's going on? Alright, you guys may not believe me, and that's fine, but, uh, while these guys were hugging, I literally went to in and out and back home. While these guys were hugging, I had an Ellen interview. While these guys were hugging, I went bowling. They started hugging when it was summer, and now it's winter. Bro, he just literally repeating the same clips on over and over again just to make my shit more awkward. Bro, this dude just straight up clowning me to the side, yo! Wait, is mom here? Yeah, bro, could you go ahead and ask something even more sketch than that? Is your mom here? Are you alone? Are you by yourself? All right, I just was asking if her parents were here so I could, like, say hi to them. It's not even that serious. They're just straight up clowning me now. Like, yo, I'm literally just asking you. Hey, yo, is your mom here so I can say hi to her? Because, you know, parents gotta be very important in a relationship. You're super pretty. <laughs> You're super short. Oh, oh my god. Can we please get an F in the chat, boys? What type of first in real life first impression was that? Hey, did you know that you're actually really pretty? Oh, thanks. You look like a midget. Okay, this is not wife material whatsoever. I, I, it's a song, you know? Oh no, this guy really is Romeo after all. Everybody prepare for the cringe, okay? Look. Baby girl. Serious, okay. The song, gotta admit, that was I, I told her that I'm gonna do that, and I personally just fucked around because I told you then we like to fuck around with each other. We we're recording a YouTube video, but outside the camera, it wasn't even that bad. That was a great video. I enjoyed the video. Benji, if you're watching this, get you on the video, but you know, like, you're gonna hit me this hard, man. If you're just watching this video, I want you to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, man. I really don't like know what's supposed to speak, so I was like, might as well react to this video. I got crazy content for you guys coming soon, you know. I have a lot of pranks ready, uh, public pranks to be more specific, and just a lot more video ready, but those videos are gonna take a lot more time, so you know, I'll catch y'all somewhere in like three years, uh, road to 25k subs, let's get 100k subs before this year ends, which probably won't happen, let's get 50k subs before this year ends, 50k is uh, reasonable, but um, I got like, what, three more months left till I get 50k, which is pretty fucking hard. Oh shit, maybe I won't get it. Let's just try to get to it. I'm not gonna say I'll the end of the year.